doing so at 38 years old as well. 197 games, scoring two on the day as well. Joe Cancelo was also on the score sheet in this one. And Bernardo Silva. So Cristiano Ronaldo gets the call up here, scores two goals in this one. Stuart Robson is with us, as is Frank Leboff. Is this the perfect way for Roberto Martinez to say, OK, you've broken the record, Cristiano, you've got your goals, we thank you very much, but it is a new era for us now, or is he planning to use him in the games that are coming? Well, I think it could be difficult for Roberto Martinez. I think he, he, Ronaldo's a difficult player to drop out the national team, that's for sure. And is Roberto Martinez a strong enough character to do it? Uh, he'll obviously want to build his own side, and, and it's difficult when you've got Ronaldo in your side. So he's got to make a big call. Uh, if I was him, I'd sort of say, thanks very much. You've got your record. Great. We'll, uh, you know, you've been the, a magnificent player for the country. You should get a standing ovation, all those sort of things. But I'm going to pick a different squad. I'm not going to have you in my squad. I'm building for the future. I know exactly what I want, how I want to play, and you're not part of it. So that's what I would do if I was Roberto Martinez. Would you agree with that, Frank? Uh, I do, I do, because it's a time when you just arrive to, uh, to express what you really want in the future, in the present, but also in the future with the club. And uh, Ronaldo doesn't belong to the future, that's for sure. And everybody, everybody knows that. And uh, it's now that you can say, OK, you know, I want something different. I want to achieve something different and I want to challenge other players with the national teams. So it was nice to see uh, Ronaldo coming back. Uh, beating the record, scoring goals, but I think it's time to say goodbye because um, uh, Portugal cannot live with the nostalgia, but uh, they have to live with the present time and the, and the future, and for sure, uh, with other players. He struggled at the World Cup. Two years' time when the Euros is on, he's going to be slower. He's not going to be sharp. Roberto Martinez has just come off the back of the aforementioned World Cup, shown himself to be a weak international manager. The very fact that he thought Eden Hazard was good enough, fit enough, and playing well enough to play for Belgium was probably one of the reasons that caused the angst and tension that was in the Belgium camp. Not the only reason, but it was probably part of it. Because other players probably sat back and thought, holy smokes, he's... Can't get a game for Real Madrid. He's, he's getting no game time. So the last thing he wants to show here at Portugal is more weak management. And I think the best thing for him to do was, if he was going to get the wrath of some Portuguese fans, get it early and get it out of the way. Make a statement. Ronaldo's had his time. I'm about the future here. This Portugal side is about the future. And we move on. But I don't think that's going to happen. I think he's going to do... The same thing that he did with Hazard. He's going to let it linger, and the longer it lingers, the bigger the problem becomes. Right. Because the narrative is always going to be about one player turning up for Portugal. It's not about Bernardo Silva or the rest. One player. I, I think there's two certainties here. I think Portugal will be better when they move on from Ronaldo, uh, this version of Cristiano Ronaldo. The other is Roberto Martinez is not the manager to do that. He, he simply, as, as, as Craig pointed to, he simply doesn't have um, the credit or the credibility to, to move Ronaldo on. And we've seen Ronaldo's playbook when he's upset at being left out. Turned up the, turned the media on Eric Ten Hag, but thankfully, I think Manchester United's fan base recognised that, that he wasn't the player that he once was. And certainly once Ten Hag was able to turn results around and keep Manchester United playing as well as they have been, Cristiano Ronaldo becomes a very distant memory. For, for Martins, it's, it's a very different scenario in that you have this player who will be lauded regardless by, by, by the Portuguese fan base, who clearly doesn't think he's past it and needs a bigger character to convince him of that. And then when that trigger is pulled, you know he'll turn everybody he can against you. And I, I don't think, I don't think Roberto Martinez is able to, to withstand that kind of pressure. We are talking about a manager who was in charge of Belgium, who was number one in the FIFA rankings for probably, what, five years consecutively, and Belgium still hadn't won anything. 
Nothing about Roberto Martinez's record suggests that he can stand up to the pressure that Ronaldo definitely will, will, put, will, will, will turn up uh, against him. So Ronaldo gets to decide when it's time for him to step away. Nobody else will. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.